Oi, oi. Um, something that I've always been curious about is YouTube revenue. Um, obviously, you see the adverts that are going on stuff. The amount of kids shows that I watch with my boy on YouTube that have got millions and millions of views and adverts coming out their rear ends. Um, I was always just curious to guess what the margin would be. Um, bit of research, it varies depending on like what area you're specialising in. I think financial and like entrepreneurial ones seem to have quite a high um, like rate, which I'll delve into a tiny bit in this. Don't want to keep it too long, but because we're in the racing world, I'm sure a few people will have seen that my account's now monetized and will probably be a bit curious to how much I am now earning. So I'll do a bit of screen play now and we'll talk through the numbers to give you guys an idea of what it is and why not. I'm going to just jump in and get straight to the point with it. So we're on YouTube, of course. We'll go to we'll go to YouTube Studio, which is where my details will come out. Basically, um, I'm not going to try and drag this out to lure it. I'm not going to give you any false promises. I'll just show you the exact numbers that are in here. So it's a bit intimate to show you stuff that's in there. So when you go to the studio page of it, anyone that's got a YouTube account will, will know these sorts of things. But give me an idea of my latest video performance and a ranking compared to the last 10 that I've uploaded. It will show us details of quick analytics, how many subscribers we've got, views, things like that. Um, and then publish videos, these are your more recent ones and it will give you a quick high level view of what's going on there. Latest comments that I haven't responded to. So if I get a message for a comment, I tend to try and get in there and, and have a look as much as I can. Um, what we're gonna go to is just the analytics side of it and YouTube do a great job of displaying it in quite a few different ways. Um, I have got my own stuff that's been exported into Excel to Analyze it slightly differently, but then it's such small fry numbers that it doesn't really matter so much. So you can see, boom, bombshell, spoiler alert. You can switch off now if you want, but in the last 28 days, so I've only been monetized for 28 days, so this is exactly all, every, every single penny, every single cent. 56, or sorry, 53, 63 is the estimated revenue. And then you can see from the views, that comes across 20 odd thousand views. This is the amount of hours watch time. And then in the last 28 days, we've got some more subscribers. But really, we want to delve into the revenue stuff. So we'll jump into here and then we'll look at some re uh, like video analytics so you can see how some of them are performing. So you've had the spoiler alert. In 28 days, $53 is what's come in. So just shy of $2 a day. Wow. And especially when you consider how long the videos are. So in the first instance, any video that's 40 minutes takes at least 40 minutes to record. We have time that we talked beforehand, especially when I'm doing stuff with, with Matt, Jamie and Daryl. We'll have time after. Um, I'll have time that I might edit some things and I have time that's uploading. Obviously we prepare. So when you roll it all into one, it's a very low wage, isn't it? But that's not the reason that I'm doing it, to be honest. Obviously, all the content I put out is for free. This is just a, a fairly win-win situation as far as I'm concerned. I just put this on there to just to see what the numbers would be like. Obviously, it's, why not? If you're entitled to get stuff, you can get stuff. What I'll do with the money is still to be confirmed, especially while it's such low level. Um, probably look at giving it to charity, I suspect. Um, but again, things can change. So like in the future, if this starts churning out loads of thousands of hundreds of thousands of views and I start earning some cash from it, then maybe I'll have to split how much goes where. But obviously I do do things with other people as well. So I'm conscious and the kind of person that I am, we'll see when we go into the videos, but I would say that if I know I edit and I'm the one that orchestrates it and I've got the platform to put it on, but I would still say that someone that I'm doing content with deserves their slice of the pie. So that's another thing for further down the line, but you don't need to know about it now. So basically the, the, the views that are in here, these little dots at the bottom is when things have happened. Um, basically when I've uploaded things and you can see there's been more stuff that's in there. Normally these spikes tend to typically be around the time of anti-up going out because that's the most popular show. So thank you very much for that. Um, this is basically your revenue per thousand views. So my average across the, the, the 28 days is how much, like $2.66 for every 1,000 views. And then this number here is basically how much is actually paid for those 1,000 views. YouTube take their slice of it. So by the look at that, quick guess, I've guessed what I get 55%, they get 45% of it. Now, we'll jump in a little bit further to look at some other bits, but you can see not these aren't really too relevant for the time being. You can see there the top earning videos, how much are coming in, um, and then it's just, Pish stuff underneath. So, just to get a bit of a feel for how much time and views and rates and things like that, if anyone is interested, 
on these videos here. So the anti-up ones are the most popular or, the, or the, the, the best return in any way. And the reason why these ones are a bit higher up is obviously I've been monetized for the 28 days. These are the ones that have been monetized for the majority of it. So I can't remember whether that one made it exactly and published on the 13th. So yeah, that would have been 11th when the um, stats come in. Um, <clears throat> that's the revenue from all of them. So you can see they, they're going up a little bit, but what's interesting is we have like number of views, which is here, which you guys will all see on YouTube, that they're sort of unique views. And then the es estimated monetized playback, that's how many times people have watched it. So some people might go back and watch it a few times. And then watch time in hours, depending on the length of the video will depend how high this might get. But this is how many hours of watch times in there as well. So there's lots of different metrics you could use to work out the rates in terms of how many actual views or how many monetized uh, monetized playbacks, how many watch hours, things like that to work it out. But the long and the short of it is this last one that I put out, I tested putting an extra ad in there and you can see that the monetized playbacks is a bit lower than this. Uh, in fact, it's lower than all of them, but actually churned out the most. Um, so roughly we're saying there if you're looking at them probably like six seven dollars for two thousand views on a video which is that there obviously this one was a slightly better performer but i've when i've just researched and i've looked at different channels and things like that there are some niches that do really well i've touched on that in the preview part or the intro to this where i said that like cryptocurrencies investments things like that tend to do quite well normal just rule of thumb useless quick time looking at stuff is for every million views you learn two grand is the way that i would pitch it we can go back onto my channel in a minute and we can look at my about and it will show us the total channel views if you delete videos off of here permanently delete them the views go with them so you won't get a complete and out picture but it's a good handle to get if you're just curious to know what people are, are potentially earning some of these older videos here so when we did these christmas ones um they were published a week before so the majority of the views came beforehand um, but they're still churning out a couple of dollars here and there. And obviously with the stuff that we're putting out, it's very time sensitive. So we're doing weekend previews and we talk about the 2021 festival. So they're not timeless, like a lot of stuff that might be on YouTube, say yoga instructors. They'll have a class that might be watched for the next 20 years, magic, comedy, music, all those things that just, they don't have a sell by date on them. The racing world that we're in, most things will be terminated at a certain point. So, um, yeah, it'll be interesting coming to Cheltenham because that's obviously where the majority of traffic is going to come through YouTube for racing stuff because people are looking for Cheltenham previews. They typically do well. Without doubt, the Supreme is always the most viewed of any Cheltenham Festival preview. Whether it's because it's the first race, first day, and people get bored after that, I, I don't know. But it is always the Supreme that is the number one for views and everything. I guess day one, probably more prominent than anything else. And then as the week goes on, people are either too hungover or anything to, to bother with looking at it. This year will be different though, won't it? Because no one's actually at the races. So I've got a couple of things in the pipeline for content on Cheltenham week. I'm going to keep them under the radar for the time being because I've got a few things to iron out, but trust me, it's going to be sick. So make sure you're subscribed to find out about that sort of stuff. Um, I'll be sharing it on Twitter and my Facebook account. I don't know how much more there is really to talk about in this. Um, obviously the when we when I was talking about the views for a channel so if I go back to my actual channel and go to the about section to look at the lifetime views it's obviously going to be very different to like there there's 120 sorry 143,000 views so where I was saying that it's 2,000 for every million looking at this if we say one and a half it should be $250 back but obviously I've only been monetized for a short period of that so again it's just a loose number but if you've got any accounts that have got over a thousand subscribers and you're watching one of their videos and they're getting a couple of thousand views this might give you a bit of a feel for what they might be getting back um, obviously the more subscribers you get the more views you get the more monetized playbacks you get the higher everything will just balloon so I'll redo a video if things have gone well I'm sure they will. I'll redo another video after Cheltenham, basically, to give you guys another handle on how much has been coming in and letting you know what I'm doing with the money. Like I say, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be giving it to charity by the end of this season. Um, I need to speak to the lads because, like I say, they've done stuff with me. I want to give them the, their opportunity to get a share, and if they want to take it, that's up to them. If they want to put it through as well, then that's great. Got some other bits in the pipeline that I might be doing for the Injured Jockey Fund. Not that they know about it, but I've been back, getting back into my running, so I might do some stuff for that charity-wise. But again, by the by, you guys don't need to really hear about that. But hopefully this was semi-interesting. I know, like I say, when I've looked at um, 
other people's channels I've been curious as to what the numbers might be so hopefully this answers a few questions anything else you want to know just comment it below I'm always happy to talk about this stuff I know it potentially it's private and it's my information but I don't particularly care to be honest so nothing to hide from anybody so um, thank you for your support anti up will be going live tonight and there'll be loads of content coming out for Cheltenham I'm not going to go overkill and ruin everybody I mean that's debatable some people will probably think that I already do but when it comes to Cheltenham week honestly I've got such a sick idea for it so like I say subscribe if you haven't already if you have thank you for your support and we will see you very soon